please welcome Canada's reigning Master Chef season three winner, Mary Berg. I'm a little starstruck. She did so well on her season. Hi, everybody. <laughs> a year ago, Mary Berg was standing in my shoes. Maybe a year from now, I'll be in her shoes. So, Mary, what has your life been like since winning MasterChef Canada? Unbelievable. I've opened up my own catering business, and it's just going so well. I love cooking, and getting to do it every day is just, like, life-affirming. Mary is living her food dream, and that itself is an inspiration. Mary, Justine, and Matt just won the taste challenge. And I think you have something to tell them. I do. You are safe from elimination. <laughs> Good job. You guys don't have to cut. We're so happy. We are made it to the top nine. On her way to becoming Canada's reigning master chef, Mary impressed us again and again with her fresh take on old favorites. That's why we asked Mary to whip up three classic family dishes for this challenge. But this time, the reinvention is up to you. First up, my personal obsession, tuna casserole. Here we've got the noodles for the starch, the tuna fish for the protein, and then you've got the nice baby green peas for that nice little pop of freshness that you're looking for in a casserole. Cheese, fish, I don't know. That doesn't seem to go together. Next up, chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie is kind of just a classic. You need to have the nice vegetables. The pastry is nice and flaky. It's got a really good egg wash on it, so it's shiny, and it just looks inviting. I have no worries about making chicken pot pie. Last but not least, a traditional shepherd's pie. This is the classic English version, made with lamb as opposed to ground beef. My family absolutely loves lamb, and they love this classic winter comfort food. I'm using all of my mind power to give me shepherd's pie. Justine and Matt, your fellow home cooks, will have to turn one of these homespun classic dishes into an elevated MasterChef Canada-worthy dish. And you get to decide which dish they all have to cook. Out of the three dishes, I'm definitely hoping they don't choose the tuna casserole. I can work with the other two. As much as I sweat in the kitchen, I want to try and see some other people sweat today. I think we're going to go with the tuna casserole. There hasn't been much fish done in this competition yet, so the tuna casserole is probably going to be a bit of a curveball. Are you ready? Follow Mary's footsteps and blow us away with your creativity. Yes, yes chef! Your time starts now. <laughs> 